For the second time in three years, the UTEP men's basketball program is looking for a new head coach. Rodney Terry leaving his post as head coach of the Miners to take an assistant job at Texas with his good friend, Chris Beard. It's all about who you know, and they're doing something there in Austin, but it leaves the UTEP program at one of its lowest points, a program that is El Paso's crown jewel. Having your head coach step down to take an assistant job just a couple months after receiving a contract extension, not so great. Terry was just 37 and 48 in three seasons at UTEP. He went 9 and 12 against D1 opponents this past season. He struggled to find any kind of consistent success in his tenure with the Miners, despite bringing in some pretty good players to El Paso. They just couldn't get it done with Terry as the head coach. In a statement posted to Twitter, Terry, Terry saying in part, quote, ultimately the University of Texas, Austin, Chris Beard, and the opportunity to return home were the impetus behind this decision. The men's minor basketball program is set to build on the foundation and fan-rich basketball tradition that's long been established in El Paso, end quote. Director of Athletics Jim Center thanked Terry in a statement that reads in part, quote, we will begin a national search for our next basketball coach. Plans to utilize a search firm have not been determined. We look forward to beginning a new chapter in our basketball program's storied legacy, end quote. Like I said, not exactly a great look for this program. Not only does it hurt the national perception of it, former UTEP players and fans alike, they also aren't happy with the way that things were left. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver is in the newsroom with a fresh take tonight at 10. Colin. Yeah, Andy, you mentioned frustration boiling over for UTEP fans, you know, throughout the Rodney Terry era, especially the last few days. And I mean, kind of for good reason. This program hasn't been to the NCAA tournament since 2010. Obviously a very proud program with a national championship to its name. They haven't won a game in the Conference USA tournament since 2017. And when Rodney Terry took over in 2018, a lot of high expectations. But tonight, at the end of the Terry era, it's basically the same as when he took over. Rodney Terry had plenty of good reasons to take an assistant job at Texas, but it still doesn't change one big fact for UTEP. When your head coach leaves to take an assistant job someplace else, it's never a good look for you no matter what the situation is. The Miners haven't won an NCAA tournament game since 1992, and with four 500 or below seasons in the last five years, people are frustrated. The overall athletic program has been, has been, has been down, and it's not like... Uh... A, a traditional UTEP program. It's been bad to watch. But that doesn't mean that the program can't be turned around quickly. It's been done this century. Billy Gillespie's first UTEP team won just six games, but the next year went to the NCAA tournament. UTEP is a desirable job with a lot of potential. All it takes is hiring the right person. There's a lot to sell. Um, certainly enough to pull a sitting head coach. Like, I think that usually is my bar of, like, is it a good mid-major job? Can you pull a sitting head coach? UTEP can do that. Miners Athletic Director Jim Center is now on the clock to find a new coach to turn UTEP around, and it's ticking fast. Names don't matter. Past resumes don't matter. You need somebody who can win. And it's tougher now than it's ever been before because of the transfer portal. You need a coach that knows how to coach with this new age of college basketball. I just think that the program needs to redirect their energy and, and go for a, a young coach uh, that's hungry and that's looking for the long haul instead of a stepping stone because UTEP has been a stepping stone for many coaches. And I do want to highlight another point that uh, Omar Thomas made. Whoever is the replacement for Rodney Terry will need more than a couple of years to turn this program around. Joe Golding, who is currently at Abilene Christian, is expected to be one of the top candidates for UTEP. He took over at ACU in 2011. It took him eight years till 2019 to make the NCAA tournament. Patience is a virtue. Whoever comes in, give them time, and maybe good things will happen. Andy. Thank you, Colin. Here is a look at some of those possible candidates Jim Center could be calling in the coming days. You heard Colin just mention uh, Joe Golding at Abilene Christian, a hot name. So is Jerome Tang at Baylor. KTSM has confirmed that UTEP has already asked MSU permission, New Mexico State, to interview their head coach, Chris Jans, Marvin Menzies, and Kamani Young, also who uh, played for UTEP and Young, possibly in the mix as well.